Sex education is all about, well, sex. Get this, it follows a teenager named Otis, played by Asa Butterfield, who starts an underground sex therapy ring at his high school. He picked up the knowledge from his mother, a sex therapist, played by Gillian Anderson. Yes, follow us here. Dylan, Al, and I recently sat down with him to discuss the series. Take a look. You wearing after say Otis? Is there someone special that you're going to meet tonight? Oh wow! No, this it's got... just a party, very normal, boring. In fact, utterly platonic. Right. Well, if you're going to do drugs tonight, remember to buddy up, Mom, and look after one another. Let me get you some condoms. Oh, thanks, Mom. Bye. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, I can't. But please welcome Jillian Anderson and Asa Butterfield. Good morning. Thank you. Sets it up actually perfectly, but how would you des describe it? Uh, Netflix, I thought this was cool. They say you laugh, cry, and cringe. <laughs> when we you definitely watch cringe. This. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How would you describe quite it? a lot? You said that. You yes. <laughs> cringe quite a bit. My son came well, your son in, in the room. just before. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's not that hour. Put the iPad down. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it is uh, the idea that you would want your mom to be so open, and then when you see what that's like, that's a little. Uh, uncomfortable. Well, she's, you know, she's she's a professional sex therapist, and so he has grown up uh, with, in, with magazines and manuals and videos around the house, and it's... Um, objects. And <laughs> objects, <laughs> etc. Strange yeah. things. But actually, the, 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 the main focus of the series is actually the high school that it takes place in. The, the, the home life is a, a tertiary storyline, and what ends up happening is that Otis... I, yeah, I, thanks to my mum's knowledge, wealth of knowledge. Uh, I, too, have a sort of uh, weird understanding of sex, uh, but also a complete inability to do anything about it, just because <laughs> of, uh, this, the relationships kind of terrified me of anything to do with that. But, uh, yeah, at school, I, I use my knowledge to help all the other kids with their issues. So, it, so he becomes it was, a, a sex therapist okay, yeah. in, the in the high, high school, school in, which is a wild concept. Friends. It is a wild concept. Because, I mean, growing up is just painfully awkward on so many levels. You know, we all kind of are going through the same thing, but nobody really wants to talk about it with each other. And there are some awkward moments that come up, even just in the show. I well, there's awkward this... moments anyway, just in right. terms of, you know, all of us have gone through that. We've gone through puberty. We've gone through the really, really awkward, terrifying, gross, messy <laughs> aspects mm -hmm. of it. And so it's a universal conundrum that, you know, there's something about the series in, in bringing a frankness and an unflinching mm -hmm. honesty to something that we all experience in life. Mm -hmm. Asa, it, your mom is is a, a psychologist. She is, yeah. So what was that like, having a mom who on TV who's a sex therapist, and then did that help your, you with your role? Um, we, <laughs> we spoke about it a bit. and I mean, it did feel our, and Jillian's relationship on set and that... Um, relationship between Otis and his mum did feel very familiar. I mean, it's that, that mother-son dynamic is, is it, it's kind of, it's universal. Um, but the, the, the therapy aspect of it, I did, I did speak to my mum about it and so mm -hmm. asked her, um, and it was interesting learning about the relationship of a therapist with their clients mm -hmm. and the responsibility you hold as a therapist, mm -hmm. especially when you're talking about something as sensitive as sex. So it was a, uh, it was interesting. Well, my, my, <laughs> my character, Jean, um, she's a very... Uh, she's finding it really, really hard to let go of her son. She's grown mm -hmm. up, just the two of them in the house, and he's coming of age, and he's finding his feet, and she's she just... She can't let go, and she's one of the moms that kind of listen outside of the door to mm -hmm. conversations and goes through his things, which that's not me in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> and so it's... But it's fun to play. You know, she's... Mm -hmm. she's she has an issue with boundaries. Even though she's a really good therapist... Very she's, sneaky. She's... Yes. Very <laughs> sneaky. <laughs> which I thought was interesting, because you seem so open in the show, your character. Yes. But yet, in fact, probably more clingy than, than most moms. Definitely more clingy. So yes. what do you want... You kind of touched on this, but, you know, it's, even though it's awkward or what have you, in some ways... It deals with real life because, you know, a lot of families mm -hmm. deal with this. What do you want people to take away from this project? Well, it's just nice to to be, you know, there's still such a stigma around mm -hmm. something that we all go through. I mean, teenagers are having sex. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when we were doing press in... Um, 
in the UK, there were a couple of the Polish journalists who said, you don't understand that we don't have any sex education at all hmm. in Poland, so you are essentially going to be our sex education. Oh, wow. That's no pressure. You've got to learn it from somewhere, but so, yes, right? But, <laughs> but I think just, be, you know, it being out there in the public arena and being able to discuss the things and the mm. awkward things and the feelings and the emotions it's, 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 and the responsibility. The pressure, I think, of... I hope that people can watch it and it, and it relieves some of the pressure on them. So maybe like, get them talking. This is, get them mm -hmm. talking, but it also shows that it's normal for it's it to be totally weird normal. and awkward yeah. and funny and it's not sex, especially when you're a teenager, it's not really sexy. And I think there's a <laughs> lot of pressure on young people yeah. around sex and hopefully this can, um, yeah, destigmatize it and just show them that it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Sex Education premieres January 11th on Netflix. Thank you guys Thank for talking you. about Thank you. Right.